everybody. I am just coming to you from my kitchen, showing you what I'm making for dinner. I am using our new deluxe electric grill and griddle. Now bear with me because I decided last minute to do steak in addition to shrimp. So making a little bit of a mess here, but that's all right. So this is really cool because you can use it in all different positions. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, but over here we have the grill plate and over here I have a griddle plate that I did the steak on. So I'm making hibachi shrimp and steak. So I'm now gonna put our shrimp on there. Now, probably could have done them at the same time together, but I don't like shrimp. I have a shrimper for my son. So I decided to cook them separate. Um, if the veggies look a little overcooked, it's because I decided to do the steak last minute. So lost track of the veggies cooking while I was preparing the steak. So basically what I did according to the recipe is I did um, season up the veggies and then I put it in the closed position to start the veggies. That's where they kind of overcooked a little bit. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and change the temperatures here a little bit so that my veggies don't overcook. Oh, yep. And then the top, I want a little bit higher temperature. So that's one of the cool things I love about this feature is that you can have both plates at different temperatures. So I just reduced the temperature on the veggies because I kind of started to overcook them a little bit. And I've uh, raised the temperature on the shrimp to make sure they cook correctly. Um, so this is the cooking guide. I know it's backwards for you, but the cooking guide that came with it, this is what it's supposed to look like at the end. I always say supposed to. So we're just gonna make a bowl. I already made rice and a piece of our cookware. And now I'm just cooking up the shrimp because I've got the steak all done. And you know what? I don't have to go to a hibachi restaurant for it. Can make it right here in my home. Takes minutes. It was super simple to just, you know, prep up the veggies. Um, I, I really couldn't, there's not much to tell you. This is so simple. Um, I made a yum yum sauce. That is in the fridge. And um, it's just going to be awesome. So I just thought I'd have you hang out with me for a little bit while I complete the recipe and plate this. We wanted something different for dinner tonight. We got nice big shrimp for the big teenager that eats so much. So like I mentioned to you, this has um, different plates. It comes with two of the grill plates and two of the griddle plates. So you can do, I can have two griddle going at the same time, two grill, one of each. You can also get waffle plates. So there's so many different recipes. Let's just take a little walk through this cookbook while this is all cooking is you can do sandwiches, you can do paninis, you can do breakfast, French toast, eggs, bacon, sausage, um, chicken sausage and veggie scramble, mushroom and ricotta sandwiches. You can actually do a pizza. I'm gonna do that this week for Andy and I. You do a pizza and the cool thing is, so it's made on the griddle plate on the where the veggies are, so this is the bottom plate. You put the crust on, put your toppings on, and I'll show you a little later in a video but you adjust the top so that when you fold it over, it's not completely over the food. I don't know if you can tell in this picture, but it's not completely over the panini. So there's different marks. They look like stairs. Let me move this just a little bit right here. They look like little stairs. And there's this lever over here, right here. And that sits in different positions on those little stairs so that you can decide just how you want the lid to fall on top of your food. So that way, what it's doing is when you're making the pizza, the crust is at one temperature cooking the crust, and then the um, top press is hovering over the pizza. So it's really more melting the um, cheese than actually pressed into it. So the options are amazing on what you can do with this. And it's just super cool. We haven't made a ton with it yet just because of time. But I'm really, really loving all that we're going to be able to do right here in the kitchen and the creativity and the fun that we can have with it. So um, what else do I want to tell you? So, of course, you know, if you're falling in love with this like I am, and I'll look at your comments in a minute. The way I have the phone, I really can't see it. Um, you can always host a show and earn it for free or at half off. This actually, through the end of March, is something that brand new consultants can earn for free. Um, and it's really cool because you can earn the pressure cooker or quick cooker for free 
um, in your first 30 days, and you can earn this for free. That's over $600 in products that are bonuses just for signing up during the month of March. So, so much going on with Pamper Chef. Yep, 21 years later, I still love it, and still am as excited about it as I was when I first started. So those shrimp are just about done. So bear with me a second, let me get plates out. Excuse me if I just put the cabinet in your face, that would have been totally unprofessional. But you guys know, I keep it real. Let me get some rice on the plate for Mr. Sam. I'm gonna serve his up first, because I know he is starving. I had a late lunch, so I'm not as hungry. So I originally, I wasn't gonna do the steak, because I had just eaten. All right, so we've got our rice. Sam, do you want steak and shrimp, or just shrimp? Steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. I should have known. Not the broccoli one. <laughs> Do you guys hear? I'm not the broccoli. But you always have to have veggies with hibachi. It's like a rule. What about the sausage, the tabaski? Nope, that's for tomorrow. But I'm giving you lots of onions, okay? As long as there's onions, this kid is happy. All right. Make sure he's got enough veggie selection in there. Hey Sam, can you turn that down a tiny bit? All right, so we're gonna put his steak in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and get his shrimp. So nicely cooked. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna get him a little dish of yum yum sauce. Guys, look at that. Aren't I fancy? How impressed are you? I'm impressed. It doesn't take much. Ah, dropped an onion. Onion casualty. Um, let me go, well, no, let me tell you real quick. The other cool thing with this is if you notice it says probe, there's a probe that you can store in the drip tray, which I don't want to pull out because there's grease dripping into it. But you can store it in the drip tray, but when you use it, you plug it into the side, and then you set the temperature for the probe. So say you're making a steak or something like that, you put the probe into the meat and you set the temperature to the probe for how what temperature you want your meat to come to. And when the meat comes to that temperature, the grill automatically shuts off. So whether you're making burgers, sausages, kielbasa, chicken, pork, steak, whatever it is, it won't overcook because the probe is gonna sense that it's come to temperature and it's gonna turn the whole unit off. How cool is that? I need that because I get very distracted in the kitchen. So there is a quick intro to our grill and griddle. Um, the off switch is right there. Turn that off, even though I already hit cancel. And let me just peek real quick and see if anybody had any questions. Uh, <laughs> Linda, I knew you would love it. Um, Christine, I knew you'd love it. JR is gonna love this too. We're gonna play with it with him, okay? And we're gonna do some cooking classes with him. So guys, I just wanted to show that off to you all. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. If you have any questions, let me know.